What's up, you guys? You want to know how to freak out a beginner uh, with a trigger girl? Give them this. Right? A lot of beginners will freak out and start testing things and they're just like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm left with uh, this sine of x, cosine of x, but we're not trained to handle this. How do, what, what do we do? Okay, do not freak out. Do not freak out. Not gonna lie, I will say this is very this is a very sneaky integral. But every beginner do know how to they they must know how to solve this because this integral pops up a lot in integration bees. And I will show you the sneaky trick to solve this. Okay? Now you probably already guessed why am I moving that dx and why am I placing a one there? Ah, watch this. You y'all ready for this? So we're gonna summon a trig identity. We're gonna let one equal to sine squared plus cosine squared. Ah, look at that. Now what do you notice? What do you notice? This is now simply equal to uh, tan of x plus cotangent of x. Okay, and so now this is simply equal to ln of secant of x plus ln of sine of x plus e. You could you could even uh, simplify this as tangent of x. Okay, if you want to. But yeah, this is this is the answer. So whenever you see this, okay, summon the trig identity. Okay, especially a lot of times when you see this, uh, this this is the way to go. Okay, it's the uh, the easiest way to think about it, right? Whenever for some reason all your sines and cosines, for some odd reason they're all in the denominator and you don't know what to do, uh, pull out this. Okay, summon the trig identity and then. Uh, go with the flow okay sometimes it's not always the case you will sometimes you will have something nastier like sine of x cosine 4 something like that or you know and then you just get a bunch of like you know you start doing this like oh just do sine squared cosine squared yeah like this helps kind of ish but then you have like remnants of this and when you on this side you have remnants of this it's like it gets annoying so uh, just be very careful with that. If it's if the exponents are like higher than two, you might want to refrain uh, from from this technique. But other than that, uh, this is this is the way to go. This is how you quickly solve it. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, I probably should not leave you hanging. Um, if if you do stumble across something very like higher order like this okay this is really unlikely you'll never see this in integration b because we know that this is nasty so honestly i'd probably just i'd i'd convert this in terms of secants and tangents that's the best that's as best as i know everything else is nasty okay that's the easiest way to to go about this integral if you see something even nastier like like higher order of this, convert it into secants and tangents. That's my only uh, help of that method. And then you just have to spam algebra. That's that's how nasty that is, right? But you hopefully you'll never come across that in integration bees. I hope, I hope, okay. But things like this, sine x, cosine x, or uh, one of them is a square, or both of them is a square. Uh, do this method. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video.